안녕하세요 여러분, 저는 브랜드입니다. Today, I'm going to do a story time. And it's a little bit different because as you can see, I'm not with anyone. It's just me, myself, and I. Because this story time does not involve Barbara, it's just Brenda. So this is a story when I was back in Korea, the first time I was there. And I had made some friends, um, some foreigner friends, outside of my school because I had joined um, like this local um, soccer recreational team and I became really close with these two guys, one from New Zealand and the other one from Ireland. Oh wow, I couldn't even remember right there. They're much older than me. One was like 26 and the other one was like 33 and they were pretty much like my big brothers. So there's a bar that we used to go to all the time because it was a bar named after one of them because a friend of his, the person who owned it was a friend of his and he had made a bet that you know, if he were to lose, he would name his bar after the friend, and he ended up losing the bet, and so his bar was named after my friend. Um, so one day, I was going to the bar to hang out with the, these, these guys, and you know, just like chill for the, for the week or whatever. And what I usually would do, my routine, was I'd go to a little store that was near my university, pretty much on the campus, and I'd just buy a bottle of soju because, you know, real cheap. I ain't gonna spend money if I don't have to. So I'd go there, I'd buy a bottle or two of soju, and I would usually at least chug one of them before I get in um, to the bar. So I'd usually just do it as I'm walking to the bar. I'm walking to the bar this one night, and I'm having a good old time. I have my earphones in, listening to music, hyping myself up, already having a little pre-party of my own. And I get to this one bridge that leads to the bar area of Suwon. And I'm on the bridge and I decided I'll stop because there's a part where it's just like right before you come off the bridge and I didn't really want to be drinking too publicly. And I was leaning against the wall, have my good old time by myself, texting friends. And I see this like Korean guy come from my left side, um, from like my peripheral vision. And I was like, oh, he's just gonna pass, you know, he's just walking by or whatever. But then I see him slowing down and I'm just like, what's going on? Because then he stops near me and I'm just like, Okay, why is he not going or whatever? But so I discreetly looked over to see what he was doing, and I was like, you know, listen to my music, text on my phone, and I looked to the side like this. And the craziest thing ever. This man had, you know, like all of his clothes on basically or whatever. Except, here it is, you guys. Except he had his zipper, his pants zipper down, and he had his phone on him in his hand with the flashlight on and it was directed to his nether regions, okay? As if I wouldn't be able to oh see it, his parts without a flashlight. I guess it was that small. But yeah, so this man was standing there flashing me, exposing himself, exposing his little baby carrot. I made like no reaction. Like, I looked so quick, I was like this, saw it, I was like, what the hell? Went back to my phone and immediately started texting my friends and my sister, as well as my big bros who were at the bar. And I was like, yeah, this guy's like flashing himself right now. Like this is the first time I've ever been in a flashing and it's happening. And everyone's like, oh my God, are you okay? Like do you want, the, the guys were like, do you want me to come and get you? Nah, fam, like I'm fine. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna get out of the situation. But I was so like, like nonchalant about it or whatever. Like I was so not affected. And I was like, I'm gonna finish my bottle and then I'm gonna go. So I legitimately stayed there for like a couple more minutes to finish my bottle of soju so that I could be properly suited for the, atmosphere and this man I guess he, he just had you know some sort of resilience and he left the first time because I didn't give him any attention but he came back I kid you not three more times at least so that he could see if he can get my attention and he would like slowly become, like come closer each time and so every time it was the same sort of setup he's coming over and his flashlights on and it's pointing at his little baby carrot and I'm just like I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of a reaction so as soon as I finish my my bottle I set it down um, in a trash can that was near the bridge, and I just, I walked away. He decided that this would be his last ditch uh, attempt to expose himself and splash himself and get a reaction, and he literally like, stands in the way almost, but I literally, I walked right around this man. My phone is still in my hands, my eyes glued to my screen, I was just acting, and I just walked around him. I walked to the bar, and my big bros were like, are you okay? And I was like, dude, I'm fine. But yeah, that was like the first time, literally that was the first time I've ever been flashed in my whole entire life. And it was in Korea. And I was like, what the hell? What is, what is this? But it was just a funny story um, because again, I wasn't affected by it. Nothing happened to me. I just thought it was 
crazy that it'd be on such a random day, a random time of the night. It wasn't even late or anything. And there were other people, so I don't know if this guy was just like, I think he was drunk. But yeah, my first time being flashed. There it is. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Half of BT Dubs out.